What's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to give you my six month or so update on T-Mobile's home internet service. I signed up back in December and kicked Spectrum to the curb and I gotta tell you that was the best decision that I ever made. Now there are some caveats to T-Mobile's home internet service and it is using 5G connection. So in order to find out if this works for you, definitely check out the availability and don't get tricked by the light version instead of the unlimited version because a lot of you complain that it's really not unlimited. As someone who's been using quite a bit of internet and I'm on track to do more than a terabyte again this month, I can truly tell you this is 100% unlimited. If you see the sign up page for the light, that's where you're going to be limited to one or two gigs. So don't get fooled, don't get tricked, don't get excited and click sign up. Make sure that the home internet unlimited service is available in your area. If you're interested to find out more about this, I'll link to my initial review down in the section below because this is just going to be an update. What are the pluses? What are the minuses? What do I think about it? And am I going to sign up for Spectrum once again? So let's get into the six month review of T-Mobile's home internet service together. Before we get into this video, I just want to talk to you about pricing because pricing is, is one of the main factors that chose me to get rid of Spectrum. My Spectrum bill would constantly increase a couple dollars here, a couple dollars there to the point where I was paying about $85 for 500 down and 20 up. And I just don't think that's acceptable, especially when new customers get the deal of a lifetime. So T-Mobile's all-in plan is a price lock guarantee for as long as you have their service. I signed up when it was about $25 on promotion, but it seems that that price range is here to stay, especially if you have T-Mobile plans. If you don't have a T-Mobile plan, I believe it's still about $50 a month. But it is unlimited and it is 5G service. Now, they do give you a 15-day test trial. So I highly, highly, highly suggest that you test out the system for 15 days before you cancel your internet service. Price was not only one of the main factors, but also upload speed was a huge, huge factor for me. I definitely upload a lot of videos, as you guys imagine. So being able to upload a video in minutes versus hours was definitely one of the key factors even if I lost a couple couple points when it comes to download speed. Now let's, let's get into speed right away because I know a lot of you are curious about speed and speed is definitely something that you want when it comes to home internet service. Now once again, if I show you guys my usage when I'm not away for work a lot and I am home and I am doing my work from home, I do use quite a bit of data. I use anywhere between 700 gigs to about a terabyte and it looks like with 22 days left I'm going to probably surpass one terabyte of data. So it is 100% unlimited and even with unlimited data you do want enough speed that's going to be able to handle all of your 4K content, handle all of your multimedia and handle all of your needs for within your household. So let's get into a speed test and as, as the speed test is happening, now on average I get about 300 megabits down. This is, the, this is the overall average that I'm going to get, but it does depend. I sometimes get all the way up to about 690, which is the max that I've ever gotten from T-Mobile's home internet. And you can see right now it's teetering about the 400 range and upload has always been about 100. T-Mobile definitely is deprioritizing home internet versus, versus my cell phone. If we take a look at the speed test that I just did, 400 megabits down is really, really good in my opinion, especially for the price. Again, I was paying about $80 for 500 down and 20 up. With about 400 down, and, and it's always a constant 100 up, I'm definitely happy with T-Mobile's internet service. But it's not, always, it's not always roses, guys. There are some times where it definitely slows down. And I gotta tell you, it is obvious that T-Mobile deprioritizes home internet versus their cell phone service. Taking a look at my cell phone on the left connected directly to the towers and my other cell phone on the right connected to my 5G gateway. You can see that speeds on your cell phone are a lot faster. So if you want to judge whether or not you're going to get fast home internet service from T-Mobile, do a speed test on your T-Mobile phone or borrow a friend's phone and do a speed test. That's just a surefire way to let you know if you're going to get some decent speeds. And I am happy I caught this on camera because your speed will fluctuate. And it does dip at the lowest range. I, I've seen about 120, even 100, even 90, but that only lasts for a couple minutes. So by the time I got back to my home office, it already shot way back up. So again, your speeds will fluctuate, but you're not going to stay on that low end for very long. It's all about congestion. There must have been a lot of people walking through or whatever. But again, I'm very happy with my average of 300 megabits down. And to show you here, I have 45 devices connected. So I, I have a lot of devices connected and, and everything works flawlessly. I'd noticed no difference between Spectrum and between T-Mobile's gateway, except when it comes to port forwarding. T-Mobile's service does not allow port forwarding. 
So you're not going to be able to get that full connection if you have a Plex server. You're not going to be able to remotely stream without any finagling and doing this and doing that. But using direct Plex serverness, you're not going to get that 4K goodness. It is going to use a proxy server and it's going to downgrade the quality just a little bit. And when it comes to cameras, if you don't have a camera system like the Waze cameras, Blink cameras, or Eufy cameras that use a specific app, so let me just not show you my location, they are not going to work because you're not able to port forward. But if, you're, if your camera system has its own app that uses their servers to relay the images to you from the camera, no problems with cameras. So again, there are workarounds and, and Microsoft Remote Desktop Connection, again, because there's no port forwarding, is not going to work on T-Mobile's connection. But there are apps that you can use and one of the apps that I use, let me just show you that, is called Team Viewer. And basically you put this app on your computer, put it on your tablet, put it on your phone and you can remote connect. So there are workarounds to the no port forwarding aspect. And I'm not a gamer guys. If you guys game on T-Mobile's home internet, let everybody know down in the comments below. I just don't game anymore. That's just not something that I'm interested in. But in terms of gaming, depending on the latency and and I just would say don't game on T-Mobile's home internet service. But if you're more about that multimedia life and you're watching 4K content and you're streaming the web and music and all of that good stuff, you're, you're definitely going to be happy. Again, these speeds are making me very happy. Last thing that I want to talk about in terms of T-Mobile's internet gateway, I'm not really happy with the connection from the gateway using it as, a, as a my only way to connect my devices to the internet. I found that when I connected more than about 25 devices, it kind of got sluggish, kind of got slow. The range isn't what I expect. It's, it's not a high-end router. This is just something that's meant to be placed in a home, in suburbia, with no interference around, and you're going to be good to go with about 10 devices. So I've actually connected my TP-Link Archer AXE 3000 router to the T-Mobile gateway itself. So again, if you have a lot of devices or you already have your router, you don't have to get rid of it. You can just go ahead and plug it into the back. But at the end of the day, I've been really happy with T-Mobile's home internet. And for the foreseeable future, I am definitely going to keep this. I do not see myself getting rid of the T-Mobile home internet service anytime soon, especially for 25 bucks a month or $30 a month, taxes all in, and it's guaranteed price for life, as they say. 500 megabits right now. Again, you really can't beat it for the price. So again, it's all about location, and that's why I urge everybody, do the 15-day trial. I'm super happy with it. I'm definitely getting some nice speeds, as you can see. You might not even get 5 megabits down. It's just the nature of the beast. It just depends on the tower. So do that trial. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. But I appreciate you watching. Thumbs up, subscribe. I'll catch you in another video.